you and I, we, we talked a little bit on Twitter about this. Jeremy Pruitt and his attorneys have threatened. Uh, basically, they, they have a deadline for a settlement. Otherwise, they are going to court and they are, they are bringing a lawsuit against the University of Tennessee. Very interesting stuff coming out. And the guy that he hired, Michael Lyons out of Dallas, you, you know my appreciation for Tom Mars. And this guy is even more of a shark than Tom Mars. This guy would eat Tom Mars for lunch. I love Tom Mars, but this guy is vicious. He is ruthless, and I could not believe that this is who he ended up hiring. And it makes perfect sense. I mean, it, he's a Sexton guy. You know, Sexton, normally a Tennessee guy, but when it comes to his clients, like he is, he's working to get their money, and I understand where they're coming from. This is so strange because you see two different things in the same conference going on right now, right? LSU fired Ed Orgeron and kept him on staff for the next four years, all the way through 2025, because there is other stuff going on at the at the uh, Louisiana State University than just what happened on the football field. He was fired because he was losing games, but there's all this other stuff that's going on. There's all the Title IX stuff. There's the FBI investigation. There's all, you know, everything else. da 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 as long as Ed Orgeron is hired or employed by the university, he is under the same uh, representation as the university. So they can keep all their ducks in a row, et cetera, et cetera, right? This situation, like they just completely cut ties with Pruitt, and Pruitt can say anything that he wants to. The discovery process for a lawsuit like this, this is why typically universities just pay a settlement as opposed to cutting ties and letting this guy just say whatever he wants to say, right? You don't want all the dirty laundry coming out there, and we know that every school in the SEC has it. In in this situation, talk about what you said to me on Twitter because I think it is insanely relevant in this in this spot. I mean, I, you equate this to a divorce, and and so it's just one of those situations where you would rather pay the attorney whatever it costs and burn the fucking house down. Like you don't care that, that you're going to lose the house. You don't care what it costs. You just don't want that bitch to get the house. That's it. Yeah. And, and I think that a lot of that is going on here at Tennessee. I think they would be perfectly fine with uh, like the new AD, the uh, chancellor, like everybody, right? I, I think everybody would be fine with, you know what? Let's just get all of this crap out there get rid of all of the baggage, all the bad stuff, who gives a rip, and we ain't paying this guy, and we are going to move forward with Heupel and with Danny White and with Rick Barnes, and if, if Rick Barnes is a casualty in the process, okay, we'll just go hire a new basketball coach, right? Because there's there's all kinds of stuff that, that Pruitt's attorney was putting out about Barnes and a bunch of rumors, whatever. But if you get all that stuff out in the open, you have nothing to hide anymore. So who cares? And and I kind of, I kind of like it. I like the idea behind it. It's it's definitely different than what we're used to. We are used to uh, a veil of secrecy, and this would just open it all up. And Tennessee could basically be saying in this spot exactly what you're talking about. Uh, screw it, uh, bring it all out. We don't care, but you ain't getting a dime. And I, I kind of like that. Kind of like it. So, do you have any other thoughts on it? No. Mm-mm. Nope. Not a thing. Huh? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. And they're there's, gonna, there's they're no gonna fight him. Yeah. They're gonna fight him. If he broke his contract, the most he can do is make Tennessee look bad. He can unveil a bunch of dirty, you know, skeletons in the closet. But at the end of the day, by doing all of those things, if if he is in breach of his contract for fired for calls, then he's still not going to get his money. Yeah. Uh, there's there's nothing that you can do there. So it's it's interesting. Very, very interesting to say the least. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.